Welcome to part two of the Portuguese campaign. So right now I'm looking at the enemy's army. This is a castle I'm attacking. Not too bad. They don't have too many guys. So I'm gonna find this on the battle map for you. Right now you'll see my fraps bar at the top recording at 50 frames per second. I guess that's good. So um, I guess I hope I'm gonna win this battle. If I do, Spain will only have one city left. So I'm gonna start deployment here. Let's see, so that's what a castle looks like. Bring all my siege artillery in range of the castle walls to demolish them. And there's the rest of my troops. I'm gonna put my male knights in the back. And that one unit is just gonna be a leftover unit. Looks like it has two layers of walls and that's where they're gonna be holding out in the final part. Now well, let's get back to my troops now. So um, I beat the Polish campaign and the Holy Roman Empire campaign. So right now I'm about to focus my fire on whatever building walls I can find to be able to focus them. So I'm putting these guys in the loose formation so they can charge under the wall and not be hit so much by missile fire. What's different from Rome is they can actually run with the ladders and not have to walk. Which is realistic. I mean, if you were walking with a ladder and going up to siege walls and people are shooting at you, you wouldn't walk, you'd run. So there's some archers on the walls and town militia. Looks like my guys are about to get in the range of the walls and they are coming under attack from peasant archers, I believe. Yeah, peasant archers. I'm going to attack the peasant archers, which is flame. A couple of my guys are getting flamed. And this wall is continuing to collapse, but they're actually very strong walls. I normally auto resolve these, but I actually felt like fighting with them the first time. Auto resolve saves time, and for a castle, it's really not fun to assault these. Because there's double layer, sometimes even triple layer walls. So there are my guys getting ready for the attack. And there goes the ladders going up. Our men have reached the Let's see if my guys can dislodge some peasant archers. What is that? Oh, it looks like I'm under attack by the enemy reinforcement cavalry. Well, like three units. I'm gonna move my my people to the back and I'm gonna have these guys on the walls go to kind of attack because they're attacking my guys that are going up on the walls. So all my cavalry is charging towards... Well actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my infantry take care of cavalry. This wall is just about to collapse and unfortunately our morale is really low right now. We lost a lot of guys just because of stuff. It is unwise to pray. Only half the enemy force remains. So we pretty much attacked their cavalry here. Excellent. And there goes their wall. We have breached our enemy's walls. So, looks like my guys, my 30 or some guys, are taking on, taking down some archers. Unfortunately, I don't really have any, like, spear units. Like, the best units for, um, infantry would be dismounted guys, dismounted knights. But, um, unfortunately, you only, it's an early period, so you don't get, um, very good spear units. And that's the second layer of the wall I'm gonna have to break through. And yeah, that's kind of stupid. They have two layers. This is in my cavalry to rush and attack those knights. Our enemy has lost the stomach to fight. And there goes we all their tentacle reinforcements advantage. are routing, but they're going to route right to the closet. 
Unfortunately, these guys just started to run away off the walls. They lost to peasant archers, who are peasants. Very sad. Now, he's bring, now they're bringing in their town militia, which isn't very good. And I don't think that those 45 guys can do it, so I think I'm going to call Our them Our men are under attack. We need to act. And unfortunately, those guys like try to attack the walls. They will die. I'm going to send these guys on a suicide mission. Yeah, so my Portuguese campaign is going good. They've only got, I believe, one. Yeah, one city left for Spain and one city left for um, the Moors. So as you can see, we're clearly taking out the troops on the walls, and I'm going to drive my cavalry in. And there goes my spear troops on the wall, and we are actually chugging rocks to um, try to kill all those troops there. It's kind of sad how strong these walls are, like how many guys I have defending, like shooting rocks, and it took them like 10 minutes to knock them down. So, what I like Medieval Total War or Realm Total War better? Right now, I'm going more to Medieval. Realm Total War is really fun, but Medieval has so many more different types of factions. And I like that, I like that time of history. I mean, I'm just really good at Rome, and I like a game that's a challenge too. It is unwise to pray so my guys, my guys that went on the suicide mission are routing, are and unfortunately my guys got kind of stuck on their spear guys here. Victory. And they're standing firm. So right before this, I uploaded the trailer for Black Ops. I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, now it's a new Call of Duty game that's coming out November 10th or 9th, I believe. And it's being made by Treyarch, which is a company, which is uh, which made World at War. And so I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's gonna be awesome because they're gonna have zombies. Like I was playing a lot of Call of Duty 4 before, and that was really fun. But um, Call of Duty 4 and 5 are a lot fun, are a lot of fun. But Modern Warfare 2 just has so many flaws in it, like One Man Army new tubing and all these bad combinations of overpowered guns. So it looks like my troops are hunting down their guys. And I'm sending all my people in to capture the gates, and my cavalry are uh, hunting down the last guys, we're going to take some prisoners. 147 and I'm gonna cut right now to the last part of the battle he didn't miss anything just my guys moving up the ladders so we, we as you can see on the right side we just completely got rid of the ladders my cavalry are the first guys in we climb the wall to open the gate and they've got two male knight units left and there come my guys some of them going through the wall like in the Harry Potter movie like station nine and three quarters so keep in mind it's against a computer player. I'm pretty sure a real player would have completely stacked the walls. If it was a real player, I would have completely taken the time to demolish the walls. Oh, and then um, after this, I'm gonna do this six-part series with this player I played against. We played six games, all different civilizations, such as um, Poland against Hungary. Let's see, I was Sicily one time, he was Norway. I don't know, there's just a bunch of different civilizations that you wouldn't think of, factions that you wouldn't really think of to play as, that were actually very good. Like, I thought it would be really interesting to do Hungary versus Poland. As you probably guessed, I was Poland. So right now, a lot of my cavalry are fighting, but apparently they're getting owned by cavalry that are the exact same quality as them. Which I don't really get. Wow, my cavalry. Look at this big castle right here. Like, do you see that? That's like distraction right there for a second, but. Um, all my infantry is moving up now to come help, and I'm gonna draw in my cavalry right now. Because I need some of them in the settlement to help take it. So, um, if, you, if I get uh, my Poland, my first Poland 
um, Portugal campaign did really good. I got a lot of views. There go my guys again through the wall. It got like I think 80 views, and that's a lot for like me because it, like my Call of Duty videos. Um, I Call of Duty one and stuff. That was on my PC, so I could use fraps. But I really have all the other games for my console. So I'm still working on getting a capture card. The way I have to set it up is it's gonna be like a laptop, and then the actual thing is um it's two hundred dollars. So I can't get it. I didn't have enough money. Like right now, I just got twenty eight. But uh, yeah, so here's my general coming in to spy my man. This is towards the end of the battle, as you can probably see. It's pretty much just hunting down the enemy right now. Well, they're not running, but it's pretty much like killing them. They're doing their last little fight. The fight for glory. So historically speaking, the, um, the Moors invaded southern Spain, and they actually almost got all the way to France, but Charles the Hammer stopped him. Was it like Charles of Leon or something like that? Charles the Hammer stopped them in 732. And so Spain and Portugal were fighting off the Muslims coming into Spain. And eventually by like 15, I want to say like 1450 actually, they eventually drove them all out. And then they researched Christopher Columbus, like they funded Christopher Columbus to go to the New World. In America we have Christopher Columbus Day, or Columbus Day as we call it. But the Vikings were the real people who actually discovered America, like 1,000, about 400 years, 500 years before the Europeans did, they discovered that. And there's three guys left in the plaza, by the way. And, yeah, three guys in the plaza, make that two now, and we're going to watch the last couple guys die. Let's see how many... This guy, one guy can kill. He, I lost one dude, I think. And there he goes. He gets on the ground, tries to crawl away, and dies. All of so, we won the battle. Alright. So, I wonder what I should do with the population. As you can clearly see, I had 700. 48 kill, 49 men, and then I killed 300 of the enemy. I think that's a cool picture, don't you? With the guys and their fire overhead. So, we captured some spearmen. I'm gonna ransom them. So, they rejected it, and now they died. I'm gonna cut off this thing right here because you've pretty much seen all you need to see. This is Call of Duty 4-Man T21, signing off.